Okay, welcome back to the next uh, session on load and store instruction. So, as we saw in uh, earlier classes or sorry earlier sessions, we observed that uh, we worked with only single register transfer. Then uh, we will today we are going to discuss a few more uh, addressing modes of single register transfer. Even uh, after that, we will look into the multiple register transfer and even swap. Okay. Now, uh, as the, we know the working of load store instruction, as uh, these will uh, uh, transfer the information between memory and ARM, ARM register. That is load from memory to register store or save is from ARM register to the content of ARM register to the memory okay now we'll move on to the next uh, that is uh, we'll, how we can use this during programming okay so there are different indexing methods are used to access any information now, these indexing method applicable for both uh, load and store instruction okay so first one is the pre-indexing with write back second one is pre-indexing only pre-indexing then last one is the post indexing method okay so here in the table it shows that the uh, functionality of these three indexing method or uh, the way of uh, how the pointer get incremented okay and when it should be increment and so that is the way is defined by these three indexing methods in pre-indexing with write back so what will do it it will add the base content of base register with the offset okay it will first add it and whatever effective address generate after adding these two from that memory location what data is stored that get copied to the uh, destination register okay let's look at one example here in this example you can observe that ldr R0 comma in square bracket not only R1 comma hash 4 complete the bracket and outside the bracket explanatory symbol is used the meaning of explanatory symbol is the right back okay the meaning of explanatory symbol here right back so how it works now now here base is R1 and the offset is hash 4 okay the base is R1 and offset is hash 4. So it will add the content of R1 to the offset 4 or that constant number. So what sum will get? That sum is nothing but effective address. From that address, whatever data is stored, that data get copied to this register R0. It is mentioned in the instruction R0. So the data is copied to the or loaded into the register R0. Now, what is the work of this explanatory symbol now? The explanatory symbol work is that after adding the base and the offset, what sum is there? That sum should be stored back in register R1 or stored back into the base register. That's why it says that right back. So, nothing but the complete sum and offset stored back into the pointer register or base register here. Now, I'll move on to next that is pre-indexing. Okay. In pre-indexing, almost similar to uh, the pre-indexing the right back, but no update. Okay, what is the meaning of no update? As we just now saw that. Um, okay, before we going into that, uh, what is the meaning of no update? Look at the example now. LDR R zero comma in square bracket R one comma hash four, but it absence of right back. Now I'll come to know that what is absence of right back? Nothing but. It will add the base also along with the offset, but it will generate whatever address, effective address, it will copy that data and back to the copy into the or loaded into register R0, but it will not store the effective address sum. The effective address sum is nothing but sum of base plus offset will not be stored or updated into the register R1. So that's why it's not write back, only pre-indexing. Okay. Now look at the last one is the post indexing in post indexing name itself say that post so after adding 
now here also same thing like uh, right back but it is perform it in the post now so what is meaning post now look at one example now here. ldr r0 comma in square bracket only r1 is there carefully observe that only in square bracket r1 comma outside the bracket the constant number that is or offset number hash 4 is used okay it's not uh, uh, inside the square bracket it is outside the square bracket that, that why it kept outside the square bracket to indicate that post so here the working of this it will copy the data from memory pointed by r1 to the resistor r0 first memory pointed by only by r1 it will not add with uh, the constant offset or 4 here okay now it will copy that um, data from memory pointed by r1 to the r0 after copying or loading it the r1 content will update or update by adding the constant number hash 4 so after copying that's why name is given post indexing okay in the I'll, uh, little bit revise it again pre-indexing with the right back it will add both offset and uh, base and stored back in base register so whatever address will get from that address will copy to the respective or load to the register in pre-indexing it will add offset and uh, base but does not store sum into the r1 but whatever sum address generated from that data it will store into the r0 nothing but there is no change in the register r1 or there is no change in the content of base in case of pre-indexing post-indexing it will work as a normal pointer but after copying the information or data from memory to register it will add to the constant number and that result update back update back into the r1 okay now look at some few example now now here now here you can observe that the initial content of r0 is 00, 00 r1 is 4 7 zeros now memory content of uh, let assume that uh, we are working with 32 bit numbers most of the time arm works better work with 32 bit numbers now here the 32 bit data is stored at address of 470 it is a 01010101 and at uh, next 32 bit stored at 4604 where it is stored 0202002 so these two are the two 32 bit numbers one is stored at starting address of 470 one is stored at 4604 now look at the instruction ldr r0 comma in square bracket r1 comma hash 4 outside the bracket explanatory symbol okay now after execution the r1 content will update to 0202002 and e1 sorry r0 content will update to 020002 and r1 to 4604 okay now look at the initial compare the initial content of r0 with the r1 now okay we'll remove all now now these are the initial content now carefully observe that r0 initial content compare it carefully e1 r1 also okay, before execution and after execution before execution uh, of r1 uh, first i'll start with r1 later on come to the r0 part r0 only are used to copy the data r1 is initially four seven zeros now it will add to the constant number four so what will get the sum four six zeros four so what that what data is stored in that memory in this memory that data is right now here it is 0202 it will copy to the resistor r0 and even whatever sum of content of r1 and constant 4 is again stored into the resistor r1 you can observe that initially r1 is 4 seven zeros after adding to the 4 it become 4 six zeros nothing but it will update it it will update the pointer to the points to the next memory address it is ready now okay from that address it will copy the data to the r0 okay exactly uh, in case of only in pre-indexing in pre-indexing in pre-indexing case oh sorry okay, come on post indexing ok 
in case of pre-indexing, we can observe that the same example, but absence of explanatory symbol. Now look at example LDR R0, comma and square bracket R1, comma hash 4. Now look at compare this R0 with content of R0 after execution and before execution. Here pre and post means after and before execution. The similar method you can uh, use to write the any experiment output also. Okay. Here also we will compare the content of R1 now. In previous case, in the pre-indexing with write back, the content of R1 is added with the offset constant 4 and whatever sum will get is stored in the R1. Okay. But here, careful observe that it will uh, it will add the content of R1 to the constant 4. So what sum or what effective address from that memory it will copy to the destination register R0. But the content of R1 does not alter it. So there is no change in that. It remains at the same base. There is no change in the base register. Okay. In case of previous pre-indexing write back, it will update with the offset address. But here it will not update with the offset address. But it will copy the effective memory with the sum of base and offset. Nothing but that sum is not updated in the pointer. In write back, updated in the pointer. Now look at into the post indexing. In case of post indexing, exactly uh, similar to the uh, pre indexing only, but the only thing is that uh, after copying the information, then we'll update the pointer. Now look at uh, the instruction example here LDR R0, comma in square bracket, only R1, only base is there. And the offset is outside the bracket with the comma hash four. Okay. Now we'll compare the the con before and after execution of R zero and R one. R zero you can compare here. It will uh, update with the value of some values from the memory. And R one you can observe that R one now here. Here it will update with the sum of base and offset. Okay. I can observe that initially in this instruction or in this indexing mode, the whatever the memory pointed by R1, right now R1 pointing at 470, that whatever data present at that memory, 32 bit data copied to the R0. Okay. Then after copying it, after that, it will add the content of R1 to the constant 4. So total sum will get 4604 that sum will store back in the R1. So that's why post post indexing. Think about after copying update your pointer. In case of pre-indexing, first update the pointer, copy it, copy to the register. With write back, update the pointer and whatever sum effect is stored in the register. In case of only pre-indexing, it will get the effective address but pointer will not be updated or base register will not be updated. Okay, uh, this will look at into with the help of uh, some few example on Kyle compiler. Okay, okay. Now look at some few example on uh, indexing method. Uh, three indexing methods are there: pre-indexing with write back, pre-indexing, post-indexing. Okay. So how to use this uh, uh, exact working of it with the help of uh, Kyle compiler? Okay. And write. Uh, uh, I'll use uh, with respect to one variable. I declare it in the RAM. Sorry, in the ROM. I'll write uh, var one. I use the caps letter, which is of uh, thirty-two bit. So I declare uh, some number, so I can easily trace out it. Okay, and zero x zero. Now you can observe that uh, two numbers are stored at variable var1. Let us assume that this is array type. Okay. Both numbers are hexadecimal number. Okay. So how I can use the first indexing method that is pre-indexing with write back. So first we need the address of your variable. So I'll use the LDR R1 comma equal to var1. Okay, variable 1, var in variable 1. 
even today we'll discuss that uh, with equal and without equal also what will the problem will be there okay then i'll use the first one is pre indexing with write back so ldr so i'll copy that information uh, stored in that variable into r2 okay in square bracket r1 comma hash 4 outside the bracket explanatory mark the explanatory mark indicate that right back with right back pre indexing with right back okay i'll save this one translate it debug then oh sorry translate build and now debug the session okay now here i am as i am working in only in uh, rom so we can observe that the variable address is assigned by kyle a here it is uh, these are the addresses okay. uh, control ah, here observe this is the information stored in that r10101 is stored here at address uh, 70c and 0202 is the next 32 bit memory location that is uh, 5 uh, sorry i mean 6010 okay so because uh, c plus 4 because you are stored 32 bit information to store 32 bit information you need four memory location c plus 4 will get a 10 okay we'll observe it one by one now how it works the pre-indexing with write back now here pointer is r1 which pointing to the uh, base address of variable one is stored in the r1 nothing but the base address is act by r1 or base register act by r1 now here that const that uh, in the next instruction ldr r2 comma and square by r1 comma hash 4 where information stored in r2 but the sum of these two will going to update in the register r1 or update in the base register r1 okay now i'll execute uh, step by step okay now carefully observe that r1 is stored at 70c 70c we can observe that here also then uh, i'll move on to next instruction you can carefully observe that r0 initially 000 even r1 is 0060c it will update the update the pointer with uh, adding base register content and constant number 4 and store back in r1 from that some whatever memory address will generate that from that memory it will copy the data and store into the r2 okay r2 is 00 now careful observe that r2 is now become 0 to 0 to 0 to so nothing but it is copied the data from this memory location okay it copied from this one that is 6010 it is copied to the r2 okay now look at the content of r1 content of r1 is nothing but the c initially it was a uh, uh, 70c plus 4 the sum will get 6010 that sum is stored back in the base register r1 okay. the sum of these two the sum of these two is stored in that okay it is stored here and now even updated into the r1 you think about the pointer is uh, that's why it says that pre-indexing with the right back before it going to access the information add the base and offset what address will get that address is now not only get stored it in r1 also get that content of that address into the r2 okay so this way it is the pre-indexing with the right back now look at one example another uh, next example of uh, only pre-indexing in only in pre-indexing simple thing only remove this explanatory mark Okay, and remove this one now you can observe that what will the content of r2 and what will the content of r1 now after execution now look at the initial content it's the same as there is no change in that as i am using same example now i will execute step by step r1 is initially 60c r2 is initially 0 now i'll move on to the next instruction that is ldr r2 comma square packet r1 comma 
hash 4. Uh, now R2 is become 0 to 0 to 0 to, but there is no change in the R1, it remain at the same value. Now it's pointing at the same value now. Can observe that the initial uh, this is pointing at this initially, but the content of R2 will get the content of R2 which is get from the the sum of base and offset that is some base offset is yeah this sum so what data is stored in that memory location that is 0 to 0 to 0 to get copied to the R2 so nothing nothing but only pre-indexing in pre-indexing it will not update the base register base register content will be the same but the get the data from both uh, sum of base register and the offset so that going to store it into the R2 this is pre-indexing now we'll move on to the post indexing in post indexing we will keep the this constant for outside the bracket and only inside the bracket only R1 now. You can observe that here it is LDR R2 comma uh, in square bracket R1 comma hash 4. The constant number is of offset is outside the bracket. Okay. I will save this one. Okay, now you can observe the content as we already know that. Now step by step I will run it. R1 is become C. Careful observe the R1 is C. Now R1 is pointing at this first memory location where the data is stored 010101. So that data get copied to the R2. 0101 copied to the R2. Now look at the content of R1. Now R1 is pointing to the next 32 bit address. Now next 32 bit address now. Now look at the R1 data is copied from this memory location sorry r2 data so nothing but it will not add with the offset first we get the data from the with the help of only base register here base register is r1 from that memory will get the information copy to the r2 but after execution or after copying it the r1 base register update with the new address that is by adding the offset here it is offset of 4 and that sum is stored in the r1 okay so this is a uh, uh, example of uh, pre-indexing with write back pre-indexing and post indexing so how we can use these uh, indexing methods to write your any experiment uh, any lab experiment or any other experiments look at one example of your uh, lab as per the syllabus oh, no. Look at the experiment number 4. Write a program to add array of 16 bit number and store 32 bit result in internal RAM. Okay. Now we are we need to add 16 bit number now. Now but the LDR and STR here what is an example so I will copy only 32 bit number. So 16 bit number what I have to do it only I have to add the H. instead of if you write only h it will copy the 32 bit numbers now here it is a 32 bit number is 010101 but 16 bit number is only 0101 now i'll add it here h upward okay. now i'll save, save this one build it compile it now you can observe that now observe the content of r2 here now it only copies 0101 it's not the all 01010101 all eight digits only copied the 16 bit numbers so this we can use uh, to uh, you can you can use the ldrh even strh because same thing applicable for the save program or store uh, store the register also. and so you can use it okay now how to start writing the program for this i will remove all what the requirement is that um, I'll go back to the aim 
write a program to add a 16 bit number and store it into the 32 bit number so add array and array of array of array of 16 bit numbers okay so we need one array we declare that array into the rom then store uh, one more requirement is that store the 32 bit result in internal ram so that uh, second variable declare it in the ram okay now in ROM, uh, how many variables are required? It's not only the array. Array in how many elements are there? So nothing but we need the count of the elements. So we will use the two variable. One variable who holds the array of 16 bit number. Another variable holds the, the count of that array or number of element of the array. Okay. So I will use the, I will use some appropriate names. Count. So I'll use the W now. W means uh, define constant word where you can uh, define the 16 bit numbers. So five numbers I'm going to add. Then uh, I'll use the variable name array. That is also DCW. I'll use the uh, five 16 bit number. So we need to add it and store it in the uh, RAM memory location. So five numbers. So it's not that you can use random number also. It's not compulsion that the what I am number using in ascending order. You can use in a random number also. Okay, only have to add the array of 16 bit numbers. Okay. It can be random number or it can be sequential numbers. Now we need one more variable that we have to declare it in the RAM now. Okay. So here I'll make it data one and what type of it is uh, memory is data and make it as a ram by read write okay. and put the variable name as a result uh, that I'll make because after adding system number uh, make it possibility your result is a 32 bit number RAM. and even even in aim also it mentioned that uh, store the 32 bit result in internal RAM so I'll use 32 bit type. It is DCD, DCD, and I'll put zero here. Nothing but result to store the result. So I'll made it as a zero. Okay. And I'll start this one now. Okay. Now our work is to write the program now. How to start this one? Now first work is that someone need to hold your count. That is five. Because you only have to add the five numbers, not the n number more than five or less than five. Only have to add the five. So we need uh, someone need some register will use to hold the count. So I'll use the LD LDR R zero comma equal to count. Okay. Now if you write the equal to count, it will copy the address of count. It will not copy our five. We should copy the address but actually what we need five actually required okay now I'll show this one uh, execute this one and observe that it's showing that uh, unknown unexpected of code macro and uh, oh, why, why it's showing that unexpected of code of because it is uh, it is at the extreme left so I have to tab Zero errors, zero warning. Fine. Debug it. I'm using equal to only look at the content of R0. We should not, it will should copy. We need actually R1 should hold the count, but it will not copy 5, it will copy the address. I can observe that. It will not copy 8. This 8 is copied here. This 8 address is copied. But actually I want this R0 should hold the count 5. So what I have to do? Only remove that equal to so that it will copy only the value of that variable. I'll save this. Translate. Build. Okay. Now. Now we can observe that now. I'm going to run it. 
आर जीरो होल्डिंग द काउंट ट्रिपल वन जीरो जीरो फाइव दिस इज होल्डिंग इयर आर जीरो इज कॉपीड अगेन थर्टी टू बीट नंबर नो नो बट इट शुड कॉपी वी नीड ओनली फाइव सो वॉट हैव टू डू नो एल कम बैक टू यूर वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर सेशंस You come to know that here. In the earlier session, we know we saw that LDRB. What is LDRB? Load byte. LDRH load half word. Same thing applicable for STRB and STRH. But right now we need load. So to copy to get the byte, so we have to use LDRB. So I have to use here. Instead of only LDR, I'll write LDR B. R one in comma comma count. Okay. Compile it. Now you can observe that what is the content of R zero now. Now it's only five now. Okay. So if you are using equal, okay, so it will copy the address. If you remove the equal, it will copy the value or content stored in that variable. Equal variable address without equal content of that variable. Okay. Now uh, we'll continue the remaining things in the next part. Okay. Thank you.